Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now, in today's video, I am talking the CeraVe PM Lotion. I'm gonna be covering this product because I get asked so many questions from you guys, both subscribers and just casual viewers of the channel, saying, why, when I use this product, is it breaking me out? Is it a purge? Is is it irritation? Is it acne? What's, what is causing this product to have this reaction with our skin? And so I looked into it a little bit more. I had a similar reaction to this product. I used it maybe like four years ago and I found that it broke me out and it actually made my breakouts and acne worse. I just put that down to just being me. You know, not all skincare will work for everybody and skincare is unique. So I just put that down to experience and thought, clearly this product didn't work for me. But I hear quite a lot of other people say this is they're getting the same experience. And so I thought, let's investigate, let's break it down and talk about why this product might be breaking you out and might not be the best product to include in your skincare routine if you have acne or breakout prone skin. So let's start with what is the CeraVe PM lotion. Well, whilst the ingredients do differ country to country and territory to territory, predominantly it is a lotion which can be used in the evening, though you can actually use it in the morning as well. And it includes niacinamide as its core active ingredient, but also has the three key ceramides that all CeraVe products have in, plus some other hydrators and humectants in there. It's designed to calm, soothe the skin and prevent breakouts. They say it's non-comedogenic, which usually is what people latch onto if they have acne or breakout prone skin to know that it's not going to clog their pores. However, I do think non-comedogenic can be a bit of a misleading term. It often refers to the individual ingredients within a product rather than looking at them holistically as a, a combination of ingredients together. And not all people react in the same way to certain ingredients. So I would take that with a pinch of salt whenever you see it on a product. Non-comedogenic can mean that it's going to be less likely to clog your pores, but it still could make breakouts worse. This product is a firm favourite from influencers, beauty gurus, dermatologists, everyone seems to be fangirling over it. And yet if you go and look at some independent reviews online, they seem to be a lot more mixed than the people that seem to be promoting it online. So let's look into it and let's get to the bottom of it. First of all, the question is why when all the ingredients within the product are tested as non-comedogenic, should it be clogging people's pores and breaking them out? Well, I alluded this to this earlier, but actually you should be seeing things not just as their individual ingredients, ingredients, but as a whole, as a product and a formulation as a whole. You often hear people say the ingredients don't lie. So look into that and see the individual ingredients and work out whether you want the product in your routine. But actually, that's a little bit misleading. And I think we should be moving away from that fixation on the individual ingredient within a product and actually looking at the overall formulation. Individually, each of the ingredients within the CeraVe PM lotion won't break you out or won't clog your pores. However, taken together, I just think it's a little bit too much for acne, oily and breakout prone skin. There are so many hydrators, humectants and moisturizers from fatty um, alcohols through to ceramides and other ingredients which are just I think a little bit too much for the skin. Depending on where you live in, in the world, because the formulation does differ, it can also have things like cholesterol in there, which is a great fatty emollient, which is gonna help the skin to repair, but also to hydrate. So it seems individually, each of these ingredients are gonna be hydrating. I just think it's too much for the skin. And that's what I put my own personal breakout down to. I think it clogged my pores and caused that breakout because it was just too hydrating. It was too much for the skin. I would say it's more akin to a moisturizer than a lotion. I think the lotion in the um, title is a little bit on the misleading side because there's so much packed into this in terms of hydration. I think it would come down more as a cream rather than a lotion, which we associate with being more lightweight, more applicable to acne and oily prone skin. And this, I just don't think fits that mark. Another reason why I think people are often shocked when it breaks them out is because they're constantly changing the formulation of this product. So the niacinamide, which is the active ingredient, and often people will associate with purging, but because it's not increasing the rate of cellular turnover, it's very unlikely to cause a purge within the skin itself. This product though is always, always changing. And so they did a reformulation a few years ago, and a lot of people went from saying this was their holy grail product, this was amazing, to then finding it was breaking them out, maybe they're making their skin worse. Because so 
survey never advertised it as a reformulation. You know, I like it when companies stick a reformulation sticker on the bottle. So we know that the product has changed. We can have a look at the ingredients. Or if our skin starts reacting differently, we can isolate that product out as probably being the cause. What the problem with this was, a lot of people said, well, it's been working for me for like years and years and years. So it's not that that's causing the breakout. Let's look at some other things in my routine where actually the reformulation could have been the cause. They tinkered with the amount of niacinamide, which I think is probably the main reason why it went from being a really good product to one that I just don't think is as good as it was pre-reformulation. And they also changed some of the hydrators in there as well. Products can change. I'm not shading any company for changing and reformulating. That's absolutely fine. I just think maybe making people aware of the reformulation so we can take a second look at it and make sure if we are acne or uh, blemish prone, we it's still meeting our skin's requirements. So I think, you know, companies absolutely should reformulate and can do whatever they want with their products as long as they're open and just make it a little bit clearer to people that that's happened. Another issue I think people have with this product is it is formulated differently depending on where you live in the world. So people think, well, that shouldn't be a problem because, you know, I'm in the US, I'm always buying the US product. That's okay if you are in the US where CeraVe is very prominent. But if you're here in the UK, you have a couple of choices for buying CeraVe. Most of it's online and you don't actually know whether you're importing the product or whether you're having it bought in as a UK formulated product. Because you don't know really where it's coming from, you don't know the exact formulation of it without looking at the ingredients and comparing and contrasting. Let's be honest, who has time for that? So the problem is you're potentially using a product which works fine for your skin and then you mix it, you order another replacement and it's subtly different to the one that you've been using and it only takes a subtle difference to trigger a different reaction to that product in the skin, which is why some people say, well, I was fine using this product a month ago and now all of a sudden it's breaking me out. I don't feel it's working the same way for my skin. That's because the formulation is subtly different across the world and it is really hard to know, especially when you're buying online, which formulation you're actually getting before you do purchase it. A lot of companies, and this isn't just CeraVe, a lot of companies do often put a disclaimer on their website saying that the actual ingredients could be different to um, those that are advertised on the website just because it that sort of covers them for knowing that there are subtle differences depending on territory and because they might update the formulations from time to time. That generally doesn't make a difference to people's experience with the product but could be one of the reasons why you were fine with this product a while back and all of a sudden it's breaking you out. Overall, I just don't think this is a particularly strong product for people with oily or acne prone skin. This is great if you have very dry skin, it's hydrating, it's nourishing, and it will really get that hydration back into the skin. For us that have oily or blemish prone skin, I think it's too heavy. There's too much hydration. There's, there's a real mix of ingredients in here from the parabens through to some of the fatty alcohols, to the cholesterols, to just so many hydrators, which I think individually are great, but together just combine to potentially run the risk of increasing our blemishes or our rate of blackheads and clogged pores. And for me, that's why this product is a firm pass. I'd love to know your experiences with this. Leave me a comment below and let me know, has this been a product that you absolutely love and would fully recommend? Or is this something that you just don't want to, you know, you don't want to try or that you've tried and has broken you out? Leave me a comment below. A number of our regular subscribers to this channel will be saying, why are you reviewing this product? Because, you know, you've made your views on CeraVe known. I have, and I did a video on CeraVe, which I'll link up there and why I choose not to buy from this particular brand. However, that doesn't mean that I can't share my thoughts in an unbiased, and this is not a biased review, this is just my thoughts on the ingredients and tackling some of the questions I get on this product and why people might not be getting the experience they expected to when they use this for the first time. So no shade on CeraVe, you can check out that video if you want to know the background of my thoughts and feelings on CeraVe. This product could work really well for dry skin, but I think this is a firm, firm pass for anyone with oily, blemish prone skin. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.